today we are going to Kuru, which is a cafe where we will be trying a bit of different things from the menu. Let's go. Minus nine degrees. Um, after Paris, when we arrived in Oslo, it was minus twenty-five degrees or something. So today is a hot day in the winter of Oslo. I got a flat white with oat milk and also was ordered to share a double chocolate cookie and this bear. This bear right here. And this matcha cube. Yeah. Let's try it. <laughs> 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 What the bear tastes yeah, like. So, <laughs> so we'll start with the legs first. <laughs> we'll save the head to the last. Tastes a bit like banana bread. Yeah. The con consistency was good, I think. I like it. I really like it. It didn't feel dry. No. It was moist. Out of 10. Cookie, 3 out of 10. What do you 
So for the beer, I will give it an 8 out of 10. The matcha cube, 7 out of 10. And this one, 6.5 out of 10. It wasn't that bad. The latte. It's like regular. Okay, see you guys. Coming back from Paris after celebrating the New Year's there made us think of two things. Coming back to the warmth of our family and friends and also coming back to the cold as weather in Oslo. We came back to or actually we went from plus 12 degrees to minus 25 degrees in Oslo, which yeah. is insane. As you can see, there's fog coming out of our mouth as we speak right now. <laughs> it's currently minus 11 degrees or something right now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's really cold, which makes it actually pretty hard to make some content and be creative outside because most of our content is outside. And why we do that is because we still live with our families right now. So it's hard to film in our separate homes. So we don't have like a mutual place inside to film other than our office which has seven other warriors <laughs> yes sitting there and we don't want to interrupt and disturb their workflow mm -hmm. so we always try to go outside and film outside but as the weather is it's restricting us a lot and that's why we were thinking for actually the longest time we've been thinking about moving to uh, another country not like settling but moving to another country and living there for maximum a year and we've been thinking of many different kind of places like New York but that's like out there uh, but our number one wish is Japan France was in that list or like Paris because we have a lot of friends there but yeah, we definitely want to be able to live somewhere outside of Norway for a longer period of time. That's like a dream. Yes. And the reason behind that dream is several things. One is that we always feel so inspired after every trip that we travel abroad. It's, I don't know what it is. It's just like feeling a different environment, meeting new people, getting to know their culture and also eat their food and see how they are going through their daily life is super inspiring to us to see. And also seeing how the creative people in those countries work because it's obviously really different from our like work um, environment in Oslo, in Norway. I feel like every time we meet someone and get to know them and like hear about how it is for them to work creatively in their country. It's always like inspiring and also like they probably also get inspired by like our environment. So it's like a really nice exchange every time we go visit different countries. Yeah. Yeah. Second of all is the food, obviously. I feel like in Norway, we, we do have like a variety of food, but it's really limited with the restaurants and Korean barbecue, for example, is not allowed because of the ventilation. Um, also, we don't have a lot of Japanese food here. I think we only have like one place that's like... No, two places that have like Japanese food. And the rest is like only sushi, but I mean like Japanese, like yeah. a, a variety of Japanese dishes. Yeah, we it's only like... have like Asian fusion. And as you know, we love food. So that is a big, big factor for us. We travel for food. We fight for food, we, we dance for food, we pose for food. Um, so yeah, we love food, we love documenting us eating, and we love tasting new things, yes. experiencing Heavy new things. Heavy on new things. Yes. And also we love Japanese food. On that note, we were planning to go back to Japan the same month that we got engaged, which is... Sugoi! Sugoi desu. Which is May. Yes. So this May, we were planning to go back to Japan. We're going to travel there a month, maybe more. I don't know. Yeah. Like it, ha it depends on the work 
that we get here in Oslo as well. Yes. But we're planning to go there for a longer period of time. This time we want to vlog more because last time we didn't vlog. Yeah. And I think that would be amazing to vlog there. Comment down if you would like us to vlog in Japan when we're there. Either way, we're planning to do so. Yeah. So. <laughs> and if you have any type of suggestions on what countries to visit, like it doesn't have to be in Asia. It can be like in Africa or in um, America, Europe, whatever. Comment down below and also recommend dishes from that country because... Yeah. That makes us really want to go. <laughs> also, tell us a little bit of the country. We want to know, learn more about your country. Where are you guys from? Because later on when we read your comment and it's, you talk about your country, we're like, ooh, we want to go to this country. So we go to this country, <laughs> you know? So let us know. Let us get to know each other a little bit more. So comment down below. All right. That was it for this episode for the next video we want to share more about what we plan in this year and also reminisce a little bit about last year so subscribe and follow along and talk to you guys very soon see ya